Welcome to your medical examination today. We're just going to be focusing on the head and neck and everything associated with it. So before we get started on the range of tests, I'm just going to give the hands a little clean. A little clean. to know that the tests we are performing today are relaxing, non-invasive and as we go along I will be recording the results on my chart for your records. So just looking at the list, first up is head measurements. Head measurements. So I'm going to be using the type here. Just adopt a normal steady head position, just looking into the distance. We're going to start with the height of the head. Right there from the highest point to the chin. It's 20 centimeters. And for the width of the head now, at the widest point. 18 centimeters, good. And for head circumference now. I just need to wrap the you type it around the back of the head and across the forehead. And I'll just adjust it accordingly to a reading of 52 centimetres. Excellent, so let's record those measurements down. So circumference was 52 centimetres, the height of the head is 20 centimetres. Centimeters. All readings that are within normal limits there. Excellent. Good. So we're going to move on to the ocular portion of the medical examination. And I've brought with me today a illuminated, non-illuminated near vision chart. So if you cover your left eye, just with the palm of the hand, looking at the chart, which is the smallest block of print that you can read up to, please. Is N6 okay? I'll just provide some illumination. Okay, so I prefer it with there. Just cover the opposite eye, please. Okay, and which is the smallest block of print you can read up to there. That's with the light. And that's without the light. Excellent. Okay, with the two eyes open now, we're going to switch tests. We're going to look at the picture chart here, non-illuminated, using the two eyes, just tell me what images you see on each row. Just do the ones you can, please. That's with the light, and that's without the light. Good job, thank you. Uh, that's the near vision element complete. N6. Right, left, 
and binocularly at the level of N5 or within normal limits. Okay, so we're going to move on to the convergence slash fixation test now. And then now before you've enjoyed seeing the images that are on the fixation stick but I'm going to ask you to observe the B there your job is to follow the B as closely as you can to your nose okay so are we still single though okay the B is still single Okay, and just switching targets now. We have the quack quack there, right in the middle of the three. Just follow the quack quack, please. Good. Is the object still single? Good. Okay, just pushing it a little bit further now. I want you look, to look at the H at the beginning of the row there. Follow the H for the convergence test. Is there any dull vision there? Good. Still single. Just blurred but single. Good. Okay. So the convergence. Fixation. Let's do the nose. Excellent. So. The next test is called a Hirschberg test. Your job is to keep the head steady and just look at the light at approximately this distance. And I'm just observing the corneal reflexes, known as the first Bekinji image, looking for any asymmetry between the two reflections. Any asymmetry could indicate a strabismus, strabismus, also known as a squint, an ocular squint of strabismus. Keep observing the light and the reflexes there on the Hirschberg test appear symmetrical. Excellent. Okay. Just checking the pupils. And I'm just going to check the grouse pupil size there. Bright conditions, four millimeters. Let's just dim the room lights now. Okay, pupil sizes. In theory, they should dilate when the lights go down. Six millimeters in dim conditions. Okay, do the pupils respond as they should to the light? Let's just have a little look. Good, so we have a direct response, a left response which appear equal. Good. Just check the consensual response. All good, that looks fine. And the swinging flashlight test. Looking for a relative afferent pupillary defect. Otherwise known as an RIPD, which looks negative. No RIPD, good. So we've done the Hirschberg. Okay, so we need to check your distance vision now. Going to be using the Sheridan Gardner test. Okay, just cover your left eye for me. I'll be using the right eye to save a letter you see on the page, please.
size is now good. Okay. Just cover the other eye for me now, please. Cover the right eye. Okay, say what you say. To the smallest size now. Got it easy there. Excellent vision there. Excellent. Okay. So the distance vision was performed at approximately one meter. And we had acuity in the right eye of one meter over four left one over four. I suspect that the distant vision would be a little bit better. If we determine this we'd have to perform the test at a further distance, which we can do at a later date. Good. Good and equal distance vision. So I've also brought with me today the ophthalmoscope. health. Any clicking sound you may hear is just me adjusting the focusing wheel. So recalibrate, recalibrate and at the moment it's showing a red free reflex but we want the large aperture to start with and we can also control Okay, let's perform some right eye ophthalmoscopy. Okay, just looking straight ahead. We'll start with the external zones. External zones, good. Look up. Look to the right and to the left. And looking down. Looking straight ahead. Good. Okay. Okay, we're checking the media now. That's the cornea. The crystalline lens clear. Go a little bit closer for the optic nerve and analysis. Good. Changing to a smaller aperture now. Just looking into the light. We'll observe the macula is responsible for your fine detailed vision is the macula this one has a macular reflex okay and check the periphery now so just looking up peripheral retina and to the left and to the right good looking down Check the inferior portion of the retina. Excellent, good. And just some red free now, which is the green light. Just observing the blood vessels, the, the optic nerve, the peripheral zones, peripheral zones, good. Okay, so that was the right eye. CD ratio, 0.3. Ratio two to three, macula clear, with a bright foveal reflex. Good. Let's have a look at the left eye now. Okay, looking straight to begin with. Good. Okay, look to the right. Check 
check the media again to close the corner here. Crystalline lens and the vitreous humor. The vitreous humor is the jelly of the eye. Okay, optic nerve head, point four cupping. No signs of any swelling, physiologically raised now. No current lateral aim, no baby hang. Okay, looking up. the ocular assessment the ocular assessment I'm pleased to say everything looks fine there let's just record the results periphery clear periphery clear so there's no retinopathy no optic nerve head pathology and the vessels look fine signs of any hypertensive retinopathy no hypertensive retinopathy okay so we're just going to perform a quick nasal examination now so just lean back for me slightly or just lift the chin look just at the right nostril nostril hopefully you've blew your nose before you've come today yes you have so just looking at the nasal passage where right, left right okay nasal passage where right, looks good lock in the mouth now I have my dental mirror I have my flashlight and I have my tongue compressor okay so just start by opening the mouth wide for me please please set the dental mirror just looking at the rows of the teeth there for any cavities, tartar, plaque, okay, right, up the mouth again please, I'll check the upper portion of the Just raise the tongue for me to the roof of the mouth. Like that. Look under the tongue. Okay, place the tongue down. Okay, say ah. And again. Okay, we're just going to gently depress the tongue now. Let's have a look at the posterior portion of the tongue. It's pink, no lesions, no signs of any lesions there. Excellent. So the dental examination, mouth, what I can say looks fine. Got within normal limits, no lesions. No dental issues that require referral. CPT 
Okay, get rid of this black tartar. Okay, so we're going to move on to the auditory component. We're going to be checking your ears. We have a tuning fork for this. We have the otoscope. And what else? We're also going to be performing something called a whisper test. The whisper test. Okay, so let's start with a quick whisper test. I will ring the tuning fork, place it on the top of the head, and just ask you a series of questions. Just close your eyes for me, please. Okay. Now, do you hear the tone equally between the two ears? This is an equal tone. Good. And again, let's repeat the test. Do you hear the sound equally between the ears there? Good. going to set up the otoscope now, use a clean tip, place it on the end here, okay so I'm just going to be coming to the side of you and looking inside the ear canal, there will be no pain or discomfort, you just feel a little bit of contact as the tip just gently enters the canal we certainly won't be going as far as the eardrum okay so let's start with your right ear now okay so i'm just on your right side now just looking through the otoscope looking down the canal for any wax wax build up any redness scarring, and discharge or unusual foreign bodies. Everything there is looking clear. So no wax build up, which is good. I'm just going to come in on your other side now and check the left ear. Okay, so I'm just looking at your left ear in general. Okay, now the otoscope is going to go into the ear canal. Just gently. And again, there doesn't seem to be too much of an accumulation of wax. I can't see any scarring or discharge from redness, so it's no inflammation. You're not having any problems with your hearing. So that looks great. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so just recording the results there left, no redness discharge, no redness discharge, and no scarring, and the level of wax build up looks normal, excellent. So for the whisper test I'm just going to be standing on your right side to begin with and I'm going to whisper a combination of letters and numbers and I just want you to repeat what you hear so it's important that you cover your left ear first as we check the right and let's get ready okay so I'm just on your right hand side now here is the first whispered combination I would like you to repeat. X, six, two. And again, that's X, six, two. Next combination. Combination. 
attention. Excellent, so I'm just going to come on the left hand side now and repeat the whisper test. Okay, the first whispered combination I would like you to repeat back to me if possible is Final combination. Excellent work. Just uncover the other ear for me, please. Okay, so in terms of the whisper test, there was four combinations per ear, and you got three out of four correct on the right and three out of four correct on the left side. The combination that was wrong on each ear was just slightly out, but you were very close. So that's definitely a pass. Okay, so just for the final check now, I'm just going to be checking the neck region little feel for any swollen glands so have you been feeling okay recently any recent viruses coughs or colds and no bronchitis excellent okay so just Raise your chin like so. And I'm just going to apply some gentle pressure under the chin and the side of the neck. That's it. I'm going to move down a little bit. Just have a little feel of the glands. your teeth now like so and grit and relax the jaw okay excellent so there doesn't appear to be any swollen glands problem with swallowing there now recent ill health glands now swelling Lumps or bumps. Okay, so this concludes the examination today. I'm just going to sign this off and date the test. Good. Well, thank you for stopping by today. These medical tests are very important because we covered a range of regions and areas so I will be asking you to come back for another 
maybe in a month or two. So your job is to take good care of yourself, good mental health, and I'll see you next time.